Hey folks, this is Max. Welcome to another no code video. Now, in this video, I want to show you how to build a Twitter bot that um, uses random sort of quotes or, or data to create the tweet. Now, I created this video uh, back in July that showed how to build a Twitter bot uh, with no code in about 10 minutes. And so, this is the video, and I'll link it, I'll put a link in the new video. To it, but what I used, I used Zapier. Let me quickly show you how, um, how it works here. Now it's it's pretty straightforward. So the first is you know run this uh, every day, and then um, Zapier makes a request to a service which actually just holds uh, random quotes. So it gets a quote, and let's see if we can um, open it here. So there's a quote API, it gets a quote, and then the last step, it will pass it to a Twitter uh, step, and it will create a tweet. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Again, literally takes uh, about 10 minutes to create this random, this, sorry, this uh, Twitter bot. Now, going back to this video, uh, one of the comments was that can you, um, can you create a similar bot, but using random phrases? So again, the, the one that I created last summer, it uses an API, right? So it has a list of quotes, it gets a quote, and again, creates a tweet. So in theory, if you have an API that uh, gets random data or random quotes, basically you can get the same, achieve the same result as uh, Matthias is asking. Now, what I did is I wanted to see if I can build this bot using, using Parabola. And so that's what I'm going to show you uh, in this video. Now, for, instead of random quotes, what I did is I got a list of all the world countries. So it's about 190 countries. And the reason you want to have a lot of random data is because if, um, if Zapier tries to create a tweet with identical data that was used before, it will fail. Right, so Twitter doesn't allow to post identical tweets. So that's why you have you want to have a some random data with a lot of different random data. And so I decided to use world countries, but of course you can use any other uh, data uh, as well. All right, so let me first show you my. Um, so this is my this is the data. So again, these are the random quotes. Or just just any random data. So you get all the countries uh, in the world, right? So let's see what is it? How many we have here? One ninety-seven. Perfect. So this is the random data. And again, of course, you could be in a situation where you know a country is picked uh, more than once. Uh, but again, for testing, I think this should work. So this is the country li list. And then this the top here, random country. What happens is that. And I'm going to show you this how this is connected to Zapier. Once a random country is selected, it's being put uh, right here, right? And then Zapier looks here, picks the last row, and then uses the data to create a tweet, right? So let's go to Parabola first, and let's see how this how this works. So the first step is right here is to pull all the data from Google Sheets. So this is the step and you can see we pull all the countries or all the random data from that Google Sheets. All right. So the next step is we need to get a random country. And what's, uh, what's really nice is that Parabola uh, actually has a built-in feature that basically looks at the list and is able to return uh, a random row. Now, I'm returning just a single row, but you can also return two rows, three rows, uh, or more. So that's all I need. I just look at, at the entire list and I pick a random country. And then what I do is I save that country into that second tab in Google Sheets, which is uh, right here, all right? Right now, once the once a new row has been added to the second tab, let's go to Zapier. Again, this is the old one. Let's 
uh, but this is the one that we're working on now. All right, and what I have the trigger is when the new spre spreadsheet row uh, is added to Google Sheets, then of course <clears throat> run this run this app. Okay, so again when the new spreadsheet row is added, run the um, zap, and then the last step is to basically create a, a tweet, right, and then and then post it. Okay, um, again, um, sort of very sort of straightforward. Uh, just using two, two different no-code tools to put this all together. So again, let me quickly go through this again. So we pull all the data, we pick a random row, we save the random row into a separate tab in Google Sheets. In turn, uh, this triggers this triggers this the zap, which again it checks that a new, a new row has been added, and then a tweet is created and posted. All right. So we can see how this works. Let's go back here. Let's click update live version, although I didn't make any changes. And, oh, and finally, this is the, I have a test account here. Um, I have a test account and let's see if, uh, let's see if it's going to work. So let me go here, let's do uh, run this flow. All right. All right. Now we can see the Bolivia was just added. Um, it usually takes, it could take a few minutes for, for Zapier to, to kind of see the change. So, um, we'll have to wait, uh, for that. But again, this new country was, uh, just edit again Zapier in turn will see this we'll pick this country and then we should hopefully see uh, a tweet here um, All right, not yet, so I have to wait just a little bit more All right, and I just refreshed and we can see that now Bolivia was um, a tweet with Bolivia was created. So again, this is the random text, but as I mentioned, I'm just using uh, a country uh, for this particular example. So that's all I wanted to show. Uh, and again, just, just, you know, kind of leveraging two no-code tools, Parabola for sort of, you know, kind of a, picking a random country. Well, actually, no, I should take it back. It's actually three no-code tools, right? We've got Google Sheets, right? That's for storing data. And then kind of a parabola for picking a random country and then taking, um, so loading the data, picking a random country and then saving into, you know, um, sort of another data store where we keep the selected countries and then connecting it to Zapier where it picks the uh, most recently saved country and then creates a tweet uh, with it. Um, I um, I think that's it. I hope this was um, this was useful. Let me know in the comments um, if any other similar or different um, applications uh, or no code examples you would like to see. Uh, and thanks for watching.